peace be upon you my name is Nadeem and today we are going to have a look at Linux Mint Debian edition with the Mate desktop environment for those who don't know Mate is actually a fork of GNOME 2 and which the Mint team has done and this is the the Mate provided the Mate release is 1.2 and the Mint team claims that it is a highly stable release very productive takes back you to your GNOME 2 days and in my usage and I am using it from quite some time it is working quite well <coughs> so let's have a look at the release notes of Linux Mint Debian edition now one thing nice about the, the Mint team has done on their release note is that they have m mentioned what they are targeting and like the FAQ the frequently asked questions I will recommend that you check them so if you want to, to learn about the Linux Mint Debian edition how is it going to perform and what is the paradigm that they want to follow in it then that will help you greatly and this is your made desktop.org and all in all made it is nice so you have your GNOME 2 setup over here GNOME 2 like setup over here sorry <laughs> and this is your mint menu that many people love and appreciate <coughs> and then that's your normal stuff this is your uh, cal calendar and time this is your network indicator this is your sound now this is the old stuff so you don't get all uh, audio players getting in uh, included into the sound indicators but that's the way it is and then this is your update manager this pretty looks much similar to the Linux Mint 11 release that I tried some time back and <coughs> also the updates comes few and far between so the people who don't like to uh, do too much of updates and stuff this will be good and also it is a rolling release so not a total rolling release but they release it on a periodic basis the updates uh, so you don't have to install it uh, have worry about installing new releases after every six months or so so let's look at the applications provided now for those who don't know mint menu works nicely you have your applications categorized well yeah. in accessories you have archive manager I have installed Arthur then Pluma actually when they forked the GNOME 2 they also forked uh, see some of the applications for GNOME 2 for example Pluma is nothing but your gedit let me quickly show it to you and similarly they had they have forked uh, that Nautilus Nautilus 2 and now it's called Kaja You have any accessories? So then you have your calculator, image writer, and and stuff. I believe I have installed Tomboy. I don't remember, but I have installed Tomboy. It seems. Then into similarly, the IO GNOME of GNOME 2 has been forked to IO of Mate. Then you have GIMP. You have GTHUM. You have Image Viewer. I have installed Image Viewer for using it in cinnamon that I will mention the reason for that when I will do a screencast of cinnamon edition uh, see cinnamon and mate are both are provided on the same ISO so all you have to do is log out and select cinnamon from the session and then you will use cinnamon and you have document view and simple scan and LibreOffice draw of course then Firefox is your default web browser mm, Thunderbird is also provided I, I will install mumble and the pigeon transmission x are provided by default in office you get the whole LibreOffice suit and then dictionary bunch is your default media player gnome m player you have you have totem brazil as i mentioned i have installed the only record my desktop is the thing that i have installed and then you have your compiz uh, fx and the open source driver gallium works fine on my system so no problems with that then you have your file browser I have showed you then you have GDB package manager package installer and then you have system monitor so let's see what we are doing at the present moment 
so at the present moment uh, we are doing only two eight, 218 MB and 43% uh, CPU so this is nice works works well now hmm, hmm, hmm. so all in all it's working pretty well in administration you got this st uh, normal stuff you also have synaptic packet manager and software manager so it is based on debian testing but you you will not find a uh, much of a difference between this and the main release of linux mint for example you have your software manager of linux mint that you can easily use to install software and it is categorized nicely <coughs> so people will not have a problem with that if they want to use it <coughs> then your normal stuff let's quickly have a look at appearance you have a good variety of themes available by default and then a nice selection of wallpapers also this one is not in the uh, is provided by default I have, I have used it and then this is your default wallpaper pretty nice non mint stuff other than that it's all gnome 2 and it's working well they are it's like I have not find any issues in terms of stability it is most definitely more stable than the cinnamon release of theirs which I will show you in some time in the future but all in all it is working great and so for the people who want GNOME 2 but we also want uh, uh, that it should continue further uh, Linux Mint team are working on that and Mate 1.2 is a good release if you want to try keep that GNOME 2 thing working and if you want to have a system based on Debian testing then you can try Linux Mint Debian edition thanks for watching